Now, if we go to the replay and we watch the safety, for whatever reason, he does react like you would expect him to, but something calls him down, which is typically going to be this crossing route underneath here. This deep crossing route typically has that effect when it comes to cover two safeties, which is what makes this play so good. But you can see I'm beating the coverage no matter what. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese. Always got another super explosive offensive play for you guys today, and it's a play that nobody really knows about. This is something that's from an alternate playbook. It's only found in one playbook in the game, and it's something that is a one-play touchdown against every single defense in Madden 22. The offense I'm going to be using today is the run and gun. I said in my last video I really wanted to uh, go through some of these alternate playbooks and find some of the glitchier, rarer, harder to find plays uh, because for me they're more fun to use. But if you guys have some suggestions for some alternate playbooks, to check out some formations specifically let me know in the comment section hit the like button and i'll keep doing this series now the formation that i'm in is once again the pistol trips the pistol formations are always the best to me i always end up in the pistol formations this particular formation is in multiple playbooks but the play i'm going to show you guys it's only in this one uh, there's some really good run plays to be had here too if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense let me know in the comment section the play i'm going to show you guys today though is going to be the pa halfback flat the only adjustment you have to make is make sure that you have your best receiver or your fastest receiver, I should say, at this particular spot. This is going to be the home run spot. Other than that, let's go ahead and let's pick that play. Uh, it's going to be somewhat similar to some plays that I've already put out, but this play is going to be superior when it comes to things like blocking. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. On the defensive side, we're just going to start off. We're going to go with cover two like we always do and work our way back. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOH.com. If you guys want to get your mud team up and help support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. I put a link in the description below use discount code money to get three percent off what's always the cheapest coins on the market anyway and they also offer a lot of different products if you're playing other games right now if you're playing just a little bit of mad but you're playing fifa you're playing rocket league they do all these games so check out their merchandise and like i said use discount code money you'll get three percent off whatever they have on their site now against cover two it's actually a very simple setup all i have to do is block the tight end that's all i have to do typically slide my protection because i'm probably going to roll in that direction but this is all you have to do against cover two i'm going to show you guys an additional setup that'll work against multiple defenses here in a second but you can see how this uh guy just gets open right over the middle very easily now we'll go to the replay now if we go to the replay and we watch the safety for whatever reason he does react like you would expect him to but something calls him down which is typically going to be this crossing route underneath here this deep crossing route typically has that effect when it comes to cover two safeties which is what makes this play so good and something i've showed in plays in the past there are additional setups that are even better i mean if i motion this uh tight end out and put him on a uh, 10 yard out route that's going to be very successful we'll do the same thing with this here we'll just pull him across more and then the b route will take over and still you know just have a very explosive play there's multiple ways to beat cover too this is one of the easier defenses to beat when it comes to this play now i would say the full setup for this play would be to block the tight end put the X route on a drag. And then the last thing I would do is I'd put the running back on a wheel route. This is something that'll make it more successful against other defenses. So if you're not good at reading a defense, this is gonna be one of the better ways um, to, to make sure that you get a one play touchdown regardless of what the defense is. So here we go once again, Y route getting wide open over the top again. And like I said, that'll work against other defenses as well. Now this play could also have a lot of success against cover two man so we're going to pick that next pretty much every defense is going to have a different setup for cover two man we're going to go right back to that uh, motion out tight end put him on a 10 yard out route put the b route here on a streak or a fade it doesn't really matter and then i'm going to keep with that uh, drag that drag is important i block my right back one more time uh, and this is pretty much going to be the look so we're still going to be attacking the y route 
Bang! Bang! We get a hellacious, uh, you know, whatever that was right over the middle there. And then you can see I got to get rid of the ball a little bit quicker than I wanted to because of the pass rush. I don't know what happened with that guy in front of me, but it's a very easy one play touchdown. We'll try to get a little bit of a better look than we got there. Hopefully uh, my offensive line can hold up a little better. I'm guessing that's George Karloftis. I'm not even really sure. But you can see, once again, guy gets right over the top. Exact same result. Uh, moving on to cover three. This is going to be a very explosive play against that as well. So let's go and let's pick cover three sky. Now, against cover three is a couple different setups. Once again, you can do the exact same thing with the 10-yard out route. You can do a wheel route. You can do a lot of different things. But with the receivers, you really have to put the B route here uh, on a streak. And you have to put the X route. You still want that check down. You want to put your X route on a drag. If you do it this particular way, I find it's best to probably have the running back blocking, uh, which makes the most sense. But ultimately, you'll have the same success as you can see that cornerback plays down to that out route. So it's really up to you. The out route works on multiple defenses. The, the wheel route works as well. I'll show you guys the wheel route. This works here with multiple setups. If I do the wheel route, I don't need the tight end. So that's one of the positives. We can basically run it just like this, which is the way we ran it uh, against the previous defense. And then I have a double team on that monster out there, Karloftis. And then you can see, once again, we have another big play. Although, to me, the out route was a little bit more open. So it's really up to you how you want to run your offense. But I find that the out route, uh, everybody swears by the wheel route, but I swear by the out route. So that's just me. So here we go once again. Like I said, that cornerback, he's not anywhere close. I'm, I didn't really get a great pass, but you can see I'm beating the coverage no matter what. Next up, this is also a very good play against cover four. We'll start off with cover four match, and then we'll work our way back to cover four quarters. Against cover four, if you put the A route on a 10-yard curl, that's pretty much the only adjustment you got to make. Uh, the B route's not really going to get covered. I mean, he just basically just zips right through that line. And if that's the, if you time that well enough, you get a very easy catch and run for a one play touchdown. You can do that and block the running back as well. Um, if you put the X route on a streak, I find that helps the Y route get open. Uh, but ultimately, you know, none of these routes are really going to do a very good job of getting covered uh, by this particular defense. As you can see there, much tighter coverage, but you can really throw to either one of those routes. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more out of this offense, more out of this play, we're more of alternate playbooks in general, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.